This video is a comprehensive summary of the first 102 pages of the book, The Way of the Superior Man, 1997, by the esteemed David Daida. In today's world, where many men have grown up without a father figure or have lost their sense of masculine authority, this book becomes our guiding light to rediscover our long-lost potency. David Data's teachings illuminate the path to embodying the qualities of a superior man, guiding us to reclaim our purpose and ignite our inner strength while effectively approaching and handling women. Join us and let us grasp the 28 lessons from this remarkable book of masculine wisdom. And we assure you that by the end of the video, the remainder of your time on this planet will be transformed into a truly magnificent journey. Lesson 1. Stop hoping for a completion of anything in life. Many men believe that someday they will be able to stop and rest, but this mindset is incorrect. The idea of rest is simply an illusion. Life will never be any different from how it is right now. Therefore, it is important to stop procrastinating on your major projects. Do not wait until you have enough money or until the kids have grown up. These are just excuses. Instead, dedicate at least one hour each day to pursuing your long-held aspirations. The same principle applies to your significant other. She will never change. She will always be the way she is now. If you find her intolerable, it is necessary to leave her without dwelling on the past. Moreover, it can be beneficial to find humor in the constant emotional drama that seems to be a source of enjoyment for women. Lesson 2. Live with an open heart, even if it hurts. When men fail, they often withdraw and isolate themselves, which results in being trapped and losing their freedom. It is important not to fall into this pattern. Instead, remain open and vulnerable, even if it is painful. Stand tall with an open chest. Lesson 3. Live as if your father were dead. To be truly free, you must liberate yourself from weight of your father's expectations. Begin pursuing the things you have always longed to do, but were previously hindered by his restrictions. But keep in mind to always keep your father's teachings in your heart. Lesson 4. Know your real edge and don't fake it. What are your strengths? Are you maximizing your potential? Are you making the most of your skills? If you had the courage, would you live differently? Are you pushing yourself to your limits or are you holding back? Be truthful with yourself, recognize your true value and set your sights on achieving it. Lesson 5. Always hold to your deepest realization. Make your life a continuous process of embracing your true self at the deepest and most useful levels. Your actions will not bring you success unless they align with your true identity. What captures your attention? What thoughts occupy your mind constantly? If you do not live in alignment with your desires, you will never experience the inner peace that comes from being genuine. Lesson 6. Never change your mind. Just to please a woman, always make your own decisions. Women are attracted to men who are confident and independent. If you make a decision solely to please her, she will be disappointed because it indicates a lack of self-trust. If you don't trust yourself, why should she trust you? It is important to be open-minded and consider her perspective, but ultimately, you should still make your own decision. Lesson 7. Your purpose must come before your relationship. Admit to yourself that between your mission and your relationship, you choose your mission. Without your mission, your life would be empty and your relationship would suffer. Don't neglect your mission to spend time with your girlfriend. Tell her that you'll spend 30 minutes of quality time with her, but that you'll have to go back to your mission afterward. Lesson 8. Lean just beyond your edge. Your insecurities may push you far outside your comfort zone in order to achieve recognition, for instance, or they may push you deep inside because of fear. However, none of these approaches is optimal. Ideally, you should strive to push just beyond your limits, allowing for healthy growth without experiencing excessive stress or becoming too complacent. Lesson 9. Do it for love. 
Men's purpose is to discover their true selves, experience freedom and love, and share their talents. However, many men fail to fulfill this purpose and as a result feel a sense of emptiness. Despite their dissatisfaction, they often hesitate to take action due to fear. It is crucial for men to be honest with themselves and pursue the path that aligns with their identity. Instead of timidly approaching life and offering only a fraction of their potential, men should strive to give their all like a superior man. Authenticity is key. Attempting to deceive the world is futile as it can sense dishonesty. Therefore, one must either commit fully or not at all. Lesson 10. Enjoy your friend's criticism. A man's ability to accept direct criticism from another man is indicative of his ability to accept masculinity. It is recommended that you have a weekly conversation with your male friends to discuss your fears and actions. Your friends should challenge any dishonesty and guide you towards the right path. If you struggle to handle criticism from men, it may signify unresolved issues with your father. A father plays a significant role in providing guidance, and without one, you may feel lost. Your friends can help provide direction. Lesson 11. If you don't know your purpose, discover it now. Without a conscious life purpose, a man is lost, drifting, and merely reacting to events instead of taking charge and creating them. Not knowing one's life purpose leads to a weakened and powerless existence, potentially leading to sexual impotence and disinterest. The focal point of your life should be your purpose, as everything else should be in alignment with it. Failing to identify your purpose leaves you unable to live in harmony with it, resulting in a reactive rather than a proactive lifestyle. It is crucial to discover your purpose promptly to live a fulfilling life. Lesson 12. Be willing to change everything in your life. Your deeper purpose lies at your core, beneath layers of other purposes. As you uncover and acknowledge these purposes, you shed them and draw nearer to your core purpose. Once you become aware of a purpose, you may experience a period of uncertainty and doubt. Mediocre individuals often try to avoid or suppress these feelings, but it is important not to do so. These feelings are a natural part of the journey towards your true purpose. Avoid getting caught up in other distractions and instead remain open to the emergence of your new purpose. When the impulse to pursue it arises, Embrace it and begin. Remember to learn from any mistakes or setbacks you encounter along the way. Lesson 13. Don't use your family as an excuse. If you are unable to discover your purpose due to fear or laziness, it is important to acknowledge that. Using the excuse of, I have to take care of my family, is not valid. Even if you have a family, your mission should still be your top priority in life. It is essential to remember that the priority of women is love, while the priority of men is their mission. This is why women tend to feel more fulfilled with the love they receive from their children compared to men. Failing to align yourself with your purpose will weaken you, and your children will sense this and replicate it. For the sake of your family, it is crucial to uncover your deeper purpose and actively pursue it. Lesson 14. Don't get lost in tasks and duties. When men have a clear objective, such as completing a report, they enter a focused state of mind and work diligently to accomplish their goal. Although this level of determination is commendable, it is crucial to not let it consume your entire life, reducing you to nothing more than a mere machine. The significance of tasks lies not in the tasks themselves, but rather in the sense of liberation and fulfillment that comes from completing them. It is important to take regular breaks during which you can reflect and remind yourself that the purpose of life extends beyond the completion of these responsibilities. Lesson 15. Stop hoping for your woman to get easier. A woman often tests her man's capacity to remain unperturbed in his truth and purpose. She does this to feel his freedom and depth of love and to know that he is trustworthy Women test to ensure that you are still as strong as when you first started. 
As you become more intimate with a girl, it will become more challenging because she will get to know your vulnerabilities. The testing never ceases and will never become easier. To pass tests, it is crucial to remain unperturbed, strong, happy and humorous. Stay grounded and maintain your focus. Lesson 16. Women are not liars. In the feminine reality, words and facts are secondary to emotions and the fluctuating moods of the relationship. When she says, I hate you, or I'll never move to Texas, or I don't want to go to the movies, it often reflects a fleeting wave of emotion rather than a well-thought-out position on events and experiences. Men generally mean what they say. Women, on the other hand, tend to express their feelings in the moment. Sometimes they do mean what they say, but most of the time they are simply expressing how they feel at that particular moment. Since feelings can change, what she says may also change. A fundamental rule to remember is this. Do not take the literal meaning of what your woman says as true, unless love is deeply and fully present in the moment she says it. And even then, understand that she is likely referring to her current emotions, not necessarily the specific topic she is discussing. Lesson 17. Praise her. The masculine grows through challenges while the feminine grows through praise. Men enjoy challenging each other because it helps them to develop and improve. By challenging your partner, you can help her tap into her masculine side. However, the feminine side does not thrive on challenges. Instead, it flourishes through praise and affirmation. To summarize, if you want your partner to engage in physical exercise, avoid asking her to lose a specific number of kilos. Instead, express your love for her body. It is important to maintain a positive tone in your communication. For example, saying, you look so beautiful when you smile is more effective than criticizing her for frowning. To encourage personal growth in your partner, focus on praising qualities that are not yet fully developed. By acknowledging and appreciating her efforts, even when she may be lazy, you can motivate her to work hard. In essence, it is important to recognize that logic may not always be the most effective approach. It is crucial to consider the language used and the tone adopted in order to foster healthy growth and development in a relationship. Lesson 18. Tolerating her leads to resenting her. If you tolerate bitchy behavior, it will lead to resentment. Realize her being bitchy isn't entirely her fault. It's a sign that love isn't fully flowing. A mature man sees his woman's moods not as a curse, but as a challenge and source of amusement. When she's in this mood, don't shut yourself off. Instead, open yourself up to her love. Here are a few ideas for dealing with her. Tickle her, sing opera for her, make animal sounds. Shout at her louder than ever before, then passionately kiss her. Press your stomach against hers until she melts. Lift her off the ground and spin her around. Occasionally, speaking with her helps, but humor and physically expressing love are more effective. If you've tried everything, simply relax. Don't ever wish she was easier, as it will weaken you, and the relationship will only worsen from there. If you can't love her as she is, then end the relationship. Lesson 19. Don't analyze your woman. The moods and opinions of women are like weather patterns, they constantly change. Unlike men who think and react in terms of action and reaction, women often experience mood swings without any apparent cause. Instead of trying to analyze the reasons behind her mood, which may be fruitless, offer her some love and affection. It's essential to understand that her mood may be influenced by a lack of love in some cases. So, instead of analyzing, Give her a hug, kiss her, or show your affection in any way you can. Lesson 20. Don't suggest that a woman fix her own emotional problem. Her emotions are her energy. Fixing them would be like depriving her of her feminine energy. The feminine is naturally messy and changing. She doesn't want to decide what to do. She wants to follow your lead. If it's her birthday, don't say today, we do whatever you want to do. 
Say instead, today, I have prepared a whole surprise day with different activities that you will love. She wants to follow your lead and trust you. She doesn't want to come up with things herself. Men are the opposite. We'd love to do whatever we want on our birthday. We don't want anyone to organize surprises. One of the deepest feminine desires in intimacy is to be able to relax and surrender, knowing that her man is taking care of everything. The masculine energy is the boat moving from A to B. The feminine energy is the ocean moving in all directions at once. Women don't become free by analyzing themselves. They become free by surrendering to love. Lesson 21. Stay with her intensity to a point. When a woman becomes emotional, a mediocre man may either try to bring her down or choose to leave and return when she is sane. In contrast, a superior man approaches her emotions with unwavering love and consciousness. If she still doesn't choose to embrace love fully, he ultimately lets her go. When your partner's emotions are too intense, you may feel disgusted or scared as she displays unreliability and potential harm. The way you handle her is comparable to how you handle chaos, although it may be more challenging for some men than others. For example, if you prefer everything to be well organized, you may attempt to suppress her emotions, but this approach will not be effective. So how should you deal with it? The answer lies in embracing the chaos. This means loving her and remaining steadfast in your own position. However, if her emotions become overwhelming and you are unable to handle them, it may be necessary for you to leave. Lesson 22. Don't force the feminine to make decisions. Relationships are sustained when the polarity between femininity and masculinity is maintained. Relationships rest on polarity. If that polarity begins to diminish, conflicts will begin to increase. Making decisions is a strong masculine property. When your girl is asking your opinion about what to do, don't tell her, do whatever you want. Tell her what to do, but let her choose. Lesson 23. Your attraction to the feminine is inevitable. Masculine men are attracted to feminine women. The attraction to feminine qualities is unavoidable. Do not conceal it. If you do, it suggests a sense of shame regarding your sexual identity. If you find it degrading for a woman to be the focus of your polarized attraction, then you have likely rejected your masculine identity. You have actively diminished your own masculinity by condemning and suppressing your inherent desires. Instead of embracing your sexual essence, you are negating it. A negative attitude towards your desires indicates fear. It implies that you have been taught that being attracted to women is wrong. In reality, it is a beautiful and completely normal thing. The next time you feel drawn to a woman, allow your body to relax and embrace the sensation. Lesson 24. Choose a woman who is your complementary opposite. If a man is naturally very masculine, he will be attracted to a woman who is very feminine and complements his energy. People are generally attracted to their sexual counterparts. So if a man has a more feminine sexual essence, they will be attracted to a more masculine woman. Out of all couples, 10% are balanced, meaning they have a neutral man and a neutral woman. Another 10% are invested where the woman is masculine and the man is feminine. The remaining 80% of couples have a masculine man and a feminine woman. Lesson 25. Know what is important in your woman. The feminine embodies the force of life. The more masculine man is, the more important his woman's feminine energy becomes. The more you search for a woman who will fulfill your every desire, the less likely you are to receive anything. A feminine woman will not exude the masculine energy of business, for example. This is something you must accept. A masculine man craves the rejuvenating presence of a feminine woman. Allow her to embrace her femininity. Requesting masculine qualities from her will only weaken the polarity in the relationship. Lesson 26. You will often want more than one woman. 
You will want to have sex with other girls. It's unavoidable. You should think and decide how you will react to that, taking your deeper purpose into consideration. Lesson 27. Young women offer you a special energy. You feel happier around young women because they're more feminine and alive. Older women had to build up masculine qualities to go through life and can rarely maintain their youthful energy. Lesson 28. Each woman has a temperature that can heal or irritate you. Some women possess warming energies while others possess cooling. It is essential to determine your preference in order to make appropriate choices. If you tend to have a hot temper, it might be beneficial to be with a cool woman. However, your environment also plays a role. If you spend your day in a hot work environment, you may prefer not to be involved with a hot-tempered partner. This doesn't necessarily imply that you need to end your relationship, but rather that you should spend more time with people who have a calm demeanor. This is The Superior Man Part 1. Stay tuned for Part 2. Thank you so very much for watching.